Hello, Leo. Welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with Leo, and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it. Oh, wow. However, if it's or resonates with your situation. Keep in mind that these are general, where am I, and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information, nice, is down below in the description box. Um, they are still currently um, unavailable, but I will announce it on the channel when they open up, which I promise will be soon. I know that that is annoying to hear every week, but... Uh, yeah, or like I said, you can subscribe to my website and you can get first dibs when the readings open up because I, they will go fast, just FYI. And as always, just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all your donations. <sighs> okay, so Leo, um, first card out, that's why I was like, okay, we've got the tower. And I love how she specifies this tower because... This is like some type of cloud of energy. And you guys know a tower is kind of like something coming out of nowhere. It's And it doesn't have to be crazy extreme. Like, yeah, the tower card, the other side of it can be a destruction and then something coming up. But these can also be just small little like, what? Like, that came out of nowhere. Or that was out of the blue. Whether it's like contact or a blessing from the universe. It can be anything. So that's what I see. The tower card is bringing something just like out of nowhere. You're not even going to see this coming. <laughs> Straight up. So let's dive into the supporting energies. Okay. Let's see if it's okay. Movement. Something that comes in. Maybe you're dealing with a cancer. Because you got the chariot. So that's what I was saying. Like success, movement. All of a sudden you're going to be like going in a direction. And, and just moving really fast. It's like wow. Yeah look at this. Son of wands. So there could have been something kind of back and forth. I'm going to say that's either you Leo. And maybe someone that you're dealing with. It can be both. Because law of attraction wise. There could have been something about your energy. That's like a bit back and forth, maybe not fully committed to something. I, I kind of get the sense either you or this is that other person that one foot in, one foot out, not fully committed to something quite yet. That's going to shift because that's what the tower is saying because that's where the chariot is, where all of a sudden, like, if there was something that you were kind of holding on to and kind of like maybe holding on to it to, to just feel secure <laughs> like maybe it was a person leo like maybe there's a particular person that you haven't completely let go of and you haven't like officially decided on well something is gonna come in and make you decide commit move forward fast wow and look at this i split there's the chariot and there's the queen of wands so shifting from son of wands to all of a sudden, the queen feeling really confident. That's your own energy. That's your own fire energy. Super confidence coming up for you, Leo. Love it. So let's jump in. Let's see what other energy is coming out. I love that that popped out that way. So. There's the flip. We can hold on to it. Yeah. Yeah. So there's someone here in the energies keeping options open. Um, just because, yeah, someone couldn't really decide on something because there could be something that isn't quite fulfilling about what is currently around or just so Leah, again, I don't know, Leo. I mean, it is saying that it is you that maybe right now you're wanting to keep your options open, but there could be something that you haven't fully let a person go. Like, I kind of get this sense that this person is waiting for you. Um, <laughs> that person might, if this is your situation, because I am getting quite a few, like, little tiny shifts in, in this as a whole. 
that in general there's someone here just wanting to keep options open kind of because but maybe afraid to let go of this thing in case something doesn't work out or in case like you move forward and then you, you oh, this is why. Okay, so this is tied to your childhood. Okay, believe it or not. So that's why I was saying you could be on either side of this, that you're the one that someone keeps running in and out. Like this is what typically people would say they're a player. But what's energy playing, what's energetically playing out? Because this is a knight of wands. They're not fully developed into like an emperor. They're still underdeveloped. They're still immature, not willing to commit. So that's why it can be tied to shadow energy to the time where like a child wanted to go out and explore and they would go and kind of like explore something and then run back to their mother's leg and cling on to the mother's leg. But if that was lacking, then they're still searching for that security, for that base. So they're still looking for a stable energy to come in. So that in a way, they're kind of looking for a mother. And there's the Three of Swords because overhead is a little bit of some heartbreak. There's the shadow energy, and, and maybe it's third-party situation, okay? Uh, so I don't know whose energy on that is on. It's kind of like someone here has a backup option. Maybe you or maybe the other person, Leo. So if this is like a person that you're still kind of like in and out with, that person either has someone else on the other side or you do. Or there's like a little bit of a wondering if that person has other options, okay? Ace of Swords, that could be truth that comes in, kind of shockingly. So I don't know if that comes in maybe from the third party or, and this doesn't have to just be romantic. Like seriously, guys, this can play out in every environment because this is just the energy. So it can play out in work. It can play out in a friend situation. It can play out in your family. It can play in your living environment. It does not matter. This is energetically tied to shadow stuff. So if your energy is split, if you feel a bit fragmented and you haven't brought your energy back all into center, then this is how it will play out. This is the reflection of what will happen. In the past position, actually, I'm gonna put this in the past because there's your Knight of Wands, because I kind of get the sense that either this is someone from the past, maybe they'll reach back out. That's why I wanted to pull it in that way. So you might hear from this person suddenly, and then you might be moving forward from them. Like all of a sudden you have this truth about them, you or they ex tell you some type of truth, and but maybe that's the thing that you're trying to leave in the past. Like this is someone that you've known from your past, someone that you've been connected to. And there's the Four of Swords, which is beautiful because there you are choosing your peace of mind, getting really still, going through the healing. That's why I love the Three of Swords, maybe some fragmentation. And then here you are trying to bring that energy all back into yourself and get really centered and still about this whole situation playing out. In the fear position, we have the Eight of Swords. That's why I'm saying, like, easily, this whole shadow energy is going to easily put you in your mind and make you overthink the situation. So that's what it's really reflecting. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but there's the Lover's card. This is a powerful dynamic in a relationship because it's tied to those foundational energies that you've been programmed with. And when your higher self is looking for you to get centered then it will pull this person in for you to play out this stuff so that you can, and it usually does come to some type of tower moment, a huge realization, a big time wake up call. It's full blown apocalypsis of the mind because that's what is going to ultimately suck you out of a pattern you've been in, some type of shadow energy that you haven't been able to see through clearly. That's the significance of this lover. In the mind, you have the Seven of Swords. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but that could be self-deception or taking advantage of or just holding back. I mean, whatever that is. Maybe that's currently what you're doing. And also, some of you guys, if you finally, like Ace of Swords, that's truth, but that's full-blown piercing through a reality that's been confusing as crazy because Seven of Cups... That can be an illusion that causes so much fragmentation and heartbreak. And then when you see through it, then all of a sudden you're getting this peace of mind. Like this truth brings healing in and of itself. 
and then you start to th see through some self-deception um, not only self-deception, but then you start to pull back on your energy. So I kind of feel like with the chariot card, as you move forward and move towards like kind of get success from this whole situation, you might be doing it and kind of guarding yourself or guarding your energy, kind of maybe even sneaking a bit, like just a little bit <laughs> incognito. Your final outcome card is your energy. You. Strong fully in your power overcoming a fear and this could have been a bit challenging like there could be fears that come up whenever you try to disconnect from this connection or fully pull away this is completely making you strong capable able to take care of yourself able to really like go in these directions and be really confident and assure in yourself and not waver back and forth and that's going to slowly develop in a really positive way and your door that will be opening from that is freedom freedom flows don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream grand things for divine sacred reason. It is time to dream, Leo, and get your dreams fulfilled. And I feel like it will come from freedom from this possible connection or just this kind of energetic shift that you've been going through through this process. So I'll dive into the extended, see whatever messages want to come out. So if you guys want to join me over there, of course, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Leo, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.